Welcome to you guys, got another video here for you on how to full startup settings on boot to troubleshoot any computer startup problems you may be having with your computer. Now normally when you boot up to a Windows uh, 10 bootable USB flash drive or CD you'll get this box popping up here and uh, we can go next here and what this will do allow us to go into repair your computer. Now from here this will give us a choose an option and we can go to troubleshoot. Now once we get inside uh, the troubleshoot area you'll see a bunch of uh, tools that we can uh, take a look at here. Now if you want to get into startup settings from here it's not so easy and uh, what I'm going to do is show you a really quick way how to force uh, a startup settings boot up on the next reboot. So we need to go into a command prompt here to do this. So inside here we've got our command prompt box and we're going to need to type in this command and this command is bcd edit uh, space forward slash set and then space braces default and we need to type that out as it is in the uh, bottom there put a closing brace on there and then space advanced options and then space true and what this will do is when we boot the system we want to remove our USB flash drive at this stage with our Windows 10 on it or our CD, whatever we're using, and uh, reboot the computer. When we reboot the computer, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to force it to start up in the uh, startup settings mode, as you see here. And this is going to give us a bunch of options to troubleshoot our computer. So whether it will be uh, an issue with a bug, or whether it would be a boot up problem, we can use enable boot login, we can enable debugging, uh, we can enable a low resolution for video if we're having a, a video issue, we can enter safe mode or safe mode with networking, and we can also enter safe mode with command prompts if we wanted to, and disable signature enforcement, disable early launch anti-malware protection in case that's blocking us from starting up, and disable uh, restart after failure if we want to do that if we're having boot up issues. F10 would let us uh, launch the recovery environment and uh, but what we're going to do here is go into safe mode with networking. Now once into safe mode you can do a bunch of stuff from there. You can download uh, uninstallers, drivers, uh, malware, uh, scanning software, uh, fix uh, Windows problems if it lets you get into safe mode but it's a good place to start to try to uh, fix Windows problems and uh, once you're in here obviously you'll have access to the internet and stuff like that and you can run tests on your computer and try to troubleshoot uh, some problems so getting to safe mode is a really sort of first step and this is how you can troubleshoot boot up problems now if you want to disable this after you finish using it because you will need to disable it otherwise you're going to continually get the startup settings uh, I'll show you how to do that here so right click on the uh, taskbar here and uh, go to file and run new task type in there CMD and click run this will run as administrator and uh, this is just another way of getting to the uh, command prompt and now you can type in here BCD edit space forward slash set and then put the braces default and then close the braces and then we want to uh, put in here our next one which is advanced options and then we can type space false and this will turn it off so we don't get it on a continual uh, boot up and once you've done that we can exit out here and just boot to uh, windows normally and hopefully after you've done all your troubleshooting and your fixing you would then be able to boot back to your Windows desktop without any problems at all. So let's restart and there we go we're going straight into Windows 10 desktop and we've just enabled and full started uh, startup settings and use that nice little feature that sometimes can be difficult to get into if you don't know how. So that's basically how we can do it if we've got a non-bootable computer and we can do that from the Windows 10 CD or USB flash drive. Now of course before you blow up my comment section these are a little bit more advanced options for you but if you want to learn these are what these uh, tutorials are for. These are not the only way of doing 
what I'm showing you here. This is just one way of doing it and it's an extra way of learning just in case you're having trouble getting into those options which are available to you. Anyway, I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your continued support. See you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.